Um, your attorney finally signs off on her buyout after she uh, apparently loses her mind, according to your dad's book, about pay rates and buyouts. What do you remember about this getting sideways with the attorney? And The attorney you- had a knockdown drag out that went on. And again, uh, I think I referenced it last, last week. In any kind of organization, the top guys don't bitch about anybody but other top guys. And the referees bitch about only the referees. The guy who sets up the ring only bitches about the other guy that sets up the ring. It's just, but these attorneys went round and round and round. And, um, it, it, you know, I wasn't a part of the calls at all, not one of them, but, you know, and I'm hearing it from both sides, but it was ugly and then got uglier and then super ugly, but it got resolved. Uh, were you losing a lot of quote unquote friends in this era where, I mean, you sort of laid it out guys like Scott Hall and, and what, and whatnot were pretty understanding, but your attorney, there's gotta be others that were casualties of all this, right? Um, Hey, this wasn't what we signed up for. And I had no hesitation to say it isn't what you signed up for. How much money have you invested in it? Yeah. You want to ask me what I invested in it? I didn't sign up for this either, but you want to go bitch about it or you want to go try to get up to bat and hit a single, maybe a double one, stay in this game. That was the option. There's a last minute snag in the deal that almost blows up when the attorney and CFO for Panda mentioned that they did not know if Bob Carter would require you and Jerry to sign personally on the cash flow loan. What were you and your dad thinking about that little piece of business? That was uh, maybe a gotcha. Uh, is interesting. I wasn't real sure how to take it. Um, but they pressed really, really, really hard. And I'm thinking, oh, boy, <laughs> this is really going to be interesting. And going back to, you know, what you just said about family and I'm feeding other mouths and, uh, you know, me having my conversations w- with my accountants and like, Hey Jeff, this is, this is real. We don't know how this thing's going and you're really putting yourself out. Um, and so they push, but Bob didn't push when push come to shove, they backed off of that. And I can't really tell you why other than, okay, that may be overreaching that, that may put our, uh, partners at this point, we had worked together five, six weeks that may put our partners in either undue duress or whatever it was, they backed off. I can't tell you why that'd be a question for them, but they, they never pulled the trigger on that. So Dixie and the rest of the Carters, uh, some of the Panda folks come out for a show and it's all fun and games and everyone's being all chummy about our new deal together. And then it leaks that Panda was at the show and somehow it winds up in the torch. Was this a big deal for you to worry that, you know, cause what's that old thing? Telephone, telegram, tell a wrestler. You don't want this news out there until you're ready for it to be out there. Or was this a quote unquote controlled leak? Well, no, it was, look, I can remember this conversation and others, Dixie, it's delusional thinking. The talent is there. It's their job in their minds, a lot of them, to go report to whoever it may be, Meltzer, Keller, Powell, uh, you, you name it, any kind of outlet. You just said telephone, it's ingrained. If 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 your father and mother and, and the brother Todd, if y'all are coming to a show, it's not a secret, period. It, it just is, it's, it's not staying. You can do your best but it ain't staying. Are you, as you're moving this deal along and it feels like you've got to deal with health South, are you trying to communicate that to some of your quote unquote top guys, your wrestlers? Hey, good news guys. We, we, we think we've, we found a solution here. Hang in there, blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah. I mean, they, it was, a uh, um, Keith Mitchell, uh, lighting vendor and, you know, Keith had his crew, uh, lighting director. Uh, I'm talking about the boys. Were you talking to AJ? Were you talking to Ken Shan? Hey man, I know I called and asked you to take a cut. I think the Calvary's on the way. For sure. That, that sure. stay with us. We're, 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 and you know, us, 
by us running shows every week, it was pretty much a given or an obvious that, okay, they, they are in business this week. <laughs> So there's a lot of talk of, uh, budgets and advertising and talent and upgrades and production. Um, your first visit with, with the Panda folks at the Nashville show, did you feel like they had a better grasp on the wrestling business than you originally thought, or is it about what you were expecting? About what I was expecting, but you know, getting into the Nashville fairgrounds, a building that I'd grown up in, but converting it to a studio that looked right and with the right pitch of the bleachers and the lighting and the focus and the stage and, you know, everything that, you know, look, getting people in there, there were so many different hats to wear, but I knew that we had to continue to get better again, Keith, just what an incredible resource that, Hey, we probably need to do this and do that. And our audio, look, I know we're on a budget here, but we got to sort of figure this out, but you know, working through the nuances. So now we're probably, six, seven, eight shows into this bridge loan and us converting the fairgrounds into the asylum, knowing that we need to do this and that. So once I sort of had my head around it and having those conversations, it's not hard because when you're physically in a building saying, Hey, this and this will improve this. It's, you know, that they had their head around it. So it's the beginning of October. The deal is still not officially closed, but you're still running shows. I assume the money's working like you were alluding to earlier. This is a bridge loan of sorts. Yes. Yes. On October 15th, the deal is finally signed and closed on your end. What do you remember about that? I mean, tell us about that, that closing. I'm sure everybody's meeting in an attorney's office and signing around to documents. Take me back. I mean, and you do this all day, every day in the mortgage business. There's a lot of documents, documents that say that you're allowed to sign these documents. And then that document says that you read the other, I mean, just, I've never signed so many documents in my life because we had to, I mean, there's closing out J sports and whatever dotting those eyes and cleaning all that up. And then the bridge loan had to be cleaned up and finalized and converted over into TNA entertainment. And then the officers, I was an officer of the company, all of that kind of stuff. I mean, it it was an incredibly long closing, continuous closing, uh, but it was part of it. And at, at this point, knowing all the water under the bridge, I'll say from and I say that with June 19th to mid-October, I was elated because there was a a reset, uh, a refresh, um, some security, if you will, um, in, in so many ways. Um, I was concerned, you know, from the beginning, a touring company, but look, I'd done it my whole life. But knowing that we were in Nashville and we literally could focus on continue to make the asylum look better on camera, but also digging in and uh, focusing on content. 